Codemasters has been famed for its its uh, rally racing games, and Colin McRae Rally is the the game that people hold probably closest to their hearts. There was a, there was a definite desire for for us to return to our more rally based roots um, that we'd obviously started with in the, in the Colin McRae franchise. That's the game we want to make. That's the game the fans are asking for, and you know, as a, as, a, as an art team, we're loving making that kind of game again as well. Early Access was really interesting because obviously we were releasing new content every month and that's something that's quite different from how we normally work. This was giving us feedback from the community on a monthly basis so we were able to actually try a few different things out and then make adjustments depending on what the players were feeding back to us. The, the key pillar that we, we grew the whole game on was just the idea of making the most authentic and best rally racing experience that had ever been made. We started from the ground up looking at what we needed to do with the tracks, how we needed to change the cars to make sure that they drove properly within those tracks, getting that feeling right, that sense of actually flowing through a stage and I guess that sense of impending doom if you ever do go off the road. All of that stuff really fed into what it was to be a rally driver and the mindset that you approach those stages with. We wanted to, to find some of the best uh, roads in the world of rally. We ended up with this huge variety of road um, and challenge. So as you move from location to location, you really feel the difference. The team go out to the locations sometimes three or four years in advance. The idea of actually being able to smell what the atmosphere is like there, being able to see the dust blowing over, gives them a much better perspective of, of what the environment should feel like when they get it into the game. I think you can tell that when you're playing the game that these aren't made up, these aren't lines which are just drawn for, for fun or gameplay purposes. We've gone the extra step to make those roads authentic to as they are in real life. These stages are much longer than anything that's been in dirt before. I think that really helps to make it feel like you're on a journey through an environment, much like a real rally driver would be, and you really feel like you've achieved something when you reach the finish line at the end. We'd always made amazing recordings of our engine sounds and, and gravel kick-up effects, um, but we'd never really utilised them to their full potential with the old physics engine. Just bringing up the level of detail in the physics instantly brought up the level of detail in the audio, and it meant that when we went out and recorded new cars, we, we knew that we were going to get even better fidelity out of the experience. We have contacts in the rally in the rally community, so we got people like Ryan Champion, who uh, owns the Super Impressor that we recorded for the game to come in and he spent a day with us validating stuff. We had this, this amazing moment where Kevin Abring, a driver for Hyundai WRC, actually picked up the game and started doing these amazing world record breaking runs. It was just set us on that path of, of knowing that this game was special and, and understanding that rally drivers were really enjoying the experience of driving it and I think that that's probably the best validation we could get.